What's going on YouTube? Landon Huffman here back with another video. We are here at Hickory Motor Speedway. We are testing the limited late model today with Blake McCandless, who is an iRacer. He's also the lead announcer at Ace Speedway. And this is his first time ever in a late model. So kind of doing the sim to reality thing today, a little bit of iRacing to the real world and see how it uh, translates, see how he does. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for clicking on this video and uh, let's get after it. Those of you that have been watching the channel uh, know which car I'm talking about. This is our limited late model here at uh, Jason Smith Racing and Huffman Racing. So I actually raced it in late model stock the other week and finished second, but I led a bunch of laps and finished second in the limited race with it as well. So I'm going to hop in it first and then make sure everything's good, and then Blake's going to hop in it. Blake, how do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good, honestly. Uh, I'm sure like once I sit in there, I'll get you know the, the butterflies and everything, but honestly, right now I'm pretty calm, and uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm just... I'm not really going out today to do pace or anything just get comfortable with everything make sure you know if i press throttle what's the response going to be the brake all that i can tell you what so. the, i can tell you what it's going to do you're going to hit the throttle and the car's going to go forward all right well that, that that's good at least uh, and then the brakes that stops the car oh okay all yeah. right that's all right. good just seeing it pocket some bruise <laughs> i wonder how drunk anthony travis were actually seen uh, he was borderline close to it the other night which is crazy to me because he didn't drink that much Yeah, that's fine. That's yeah. fine. Just make sure you have a little bit of steam. Fill out the steering. <laughs> hard time like what you're saying like it's just hard like i don't know if it's can you hear me i can hear you fine i just can't make out what you're like i don't know if i can't just hear a really loud volume but like i just is it too loud kind of a little bit yeah well, turn like, this I some just... bitch down yeah like, it was... yeah i guess how's that yeah it's a little bit better but like just while i'm driving like I, it's just like i hear noise but i can't understand what you're saying is it static no no i just i have a fucking problem like with a loud noise i guess i don't know actually getting on the throttle is where you need to be you're getting on the throttle good um, 
just straight away is where it's at. Like, uh, also, you'll realize once you start getting in the corner harder, you are going to be able to hold more roll speed, so the front end's going to work better even for you. Yeah. It should have felt better that last time. Like, yeah. you actually got it pivoted right here, yeah. and you could get straight up off the yeah. bottom like you need to, where before, you couldn't do that. So, I think that right now, we just need to work on using more throttle down the straightaway and then are you using brake really I, I feel like i'm i'm using it for a long time but i'm not using a lot like i'm getting into it and i'm not really no your exit looks fine you're just not carrying any roll speed yeah. entry like your three is a very it's like a, it's more open on entry than one and two yeah um i enter pretty shallow down there a lot of people like to arc it i've never raced it that way i've yeah. always entered shallow I didn't stall it, so no, there we go. Are you able to put it in second or are you not even missing uh, it? I was just going from first to third. Okay. This next time we'll practice a restart. I'll let you stay in third all the way through here. You see the restart going? They coming off so you can breathe. Yeah. better on the track that's uh you ran o's consistently and you ran some 90s nice that chip is hitting it too early yeah. so it's, i know it's kind of like you feel like you're lifting through the chip yeah so we're going to change the gear so yeah. when we come back next week you'll be able to drive it farther down the corner you'll have more ass for longer too like you're hitting yeah. that chip and it's kind of dying out but yeah that'll that that's worth a little bit i mean i went from 70s to 60s when we swapped that arc or the chip earlier uh, uh, we're not gonna change the chip. We're gonna change the gear. Yeah. So that'll help. Um, really, really good job. That was pretty good. Uh, the, are you tight at all, or what do you feel with the car? Uh, it's a little free on exit, um, which I, I kind of like because I just felt like it kind of got me rotated through the center a little bit. What the hell you think, bud? That was fun. <laughs> uh, man, it's uh. It's wild to feel like the first thing you said is like feel like your neck's pulling on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like that was the biggest thing. And then just trying to find like where that edge of grip was. I know when I went out early, like I didn't want to, I didn't want to get too loose or I didn't know what loose felt like and um, just got a little more confident with it each time. And yeah, just getting down on the corner and like, you just got to commit to it. Like that's, <laughs> that's the other thing I feel like that's so much different is you just got to be, got to be balled out for it to actually, actually work. But, uh, I got in it and I was running, uh, I ran some 70s, 80s with this chip, put the other chip in it and I ran 60s pretty good, the two runs I made. Uh, Blake started in like the 17 somethings and we got 1750s <laughs> and we worked all the way down and he was running flats and 90s. So 16 flats, 15 90s, which is really, really good. That's the first time he's ever sat in a stock car before. Um, only experience was I racing before that and a lemon race at Sonoma. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Twins making a lot of noise right now. So that's pretty cool. So that, you know, that shows you that it does translate. Um, here, I'll let Blake tell you the difference between the sim here versus the real world, I guess, to kind of close this thing out. All right. So I would say the biggest difference is obviously like the G-forces. Like you can't, you can't really simulate Replicate that. Replicate that. Yeah. yeah. I know Kevin Iinarelli was telling me that like there's just no seat of the pants feel that you can get. And that was obviously a lot different. Um, 
the great thing about iRacing was, was just the bumps. Like, no, like I knew right when I got here, like there's a big bump in the center one and two. Like right after that bump, you pick up the throttle yep. and like that hooked up. Basically, as soon as I got comfortable with the car, like I understood that instantly. Um, like how to get up off the corner, uh, that was largely through iRacing. Like even though I was kind of slow early on in the day, like I felt like my line on in three and four, at least off of four, uh, was pretty consistent the whole day. Um, just gotta, be, we gotta be, work on our restarts. Yeah, yeah. The work, restart, <laughs> restarts are uh, the first one was slow, and then the second one is spun the tires. So uh, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the trouble spot to to get comfortable with that. But uh, otherwise, yeah, just it was cool to kind of feel get more comfortable and kind of feel the car out and get to where I feel like I was I wasn't just a passenger. Like I was yeah. I was a part of you know trying to find speed. We so, did good. Yeah. Really? Thanks, uh, James Davison. I'm sorry. Your, your signature is probably going to get uh, smudged out here. A little bit. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate the fire suit. It fits me perfectly. And, uh, yeah, it should be fun. What we have, Seth? Or your snugs and your stagger. Oh, yeah. What stagger's it got? Inch and a quarter in the front. Inch and an eighth in the rear. Nope, that'll do it. So Blake will be racing next weekend, June 4th. I'm also racing our late model stock here for twin 40s. Blake will be running the 50 lap limited late model race. So that's pretty cool. First time we've had somebody else in something here uh, with JSR and Huffman Racing. So that's fun. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'll, obviously, Blake will be a part of the vlog next weekend. So that'll be kind of cool to see the sim to reality really take form and see how much Blake can put to use when it comes to racing around other people. Because today he was out there by himself. Uh, we also got to get him where he can hear. Could not hear. Had to use my headphones. Couldn't hear. So we got to work on that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 9K, and uh, catch you guys in the next upload. I'm out.